Good morning, good morning. All right. I got uh, 810 subscribers. It's November, what is today? The 9th of November, 2023. Today, we're going to do an Oriole. And it's a spotted Oriole. They come down here to Florida and they eat these little orange, they look like small pumpkins on a vine, but there's red seeds inside and they, I think they eat the meat off that red seed. So I really like them, they're, they're beautiful. And this is the position I'm gonna do. I've got this much done so far. And I'm gonna show you how I I found a new way to do feathers. Instead of doing it on felt, I'm gonna make them out of wool and Mod Podge with water. Mod Podge with water and it's kind of like milk, okay? Now, <clears throat> the proportion of the bird. So what I do is how long is that tail? I measure the point of my pencil to the end where it joins the body. It's probably that long, okay? So how many tails does it make up a body? From there to there, look at that. That's almost to his shoulder. So that's one tail to the shoulder. And then one tail to the tip of the beak. So, if I know that, then I'm gonna go from the shoulder, which you can see right here. This is right about here. So I'm gonna make that tail about that long. And if I put that on there, that's how long that tail will be. Right here, from the, to here. I can always cut the tail if I make it too long. So that's no big deal. So we'll put uh, Baltimore Oriole, uh, not Baltimore, <laughs> a spotted chested Oriole over here. And I'm gonna show you how I do the feathers. Now this is a piece of paper inside of a plastic, I don't know, notebook holder or whatever. I got a couple pieces in here to kind of make it stiff. And you can see I drew these feathers. This was for a painted bunting. But, you know, I really don't need that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my black and I'm going to go, you know, kind of get it Smoothish. Just by pulling it. Okay. So I can elongate it. Now this one here, I might do a mixture. See how short the fibers are? I've got some black. I got this nice yellow. I'll probably mix some orange in there because there is orange in that bird. And here you can see a little bit of uh, blue, so I'll probably add that in. And I don't see any white in that tail, but I'm going to add some for artistic value. Okay, now look at this. You see, this is much longer fiber. So what I think I'm gonna do, you'll see. 
Alright. Probably gonna make three tails. I got a plastic spoon. Now you could use Elmer's glue and water or Mod Podge and water. But the consistency, you know, it's like milk. Maybe not even as thick as milk. The idea is you want it to dry clear. Oops. <laughs> Make sure you have paper towels next to you. All right. See how it's collected at the bottom a little bit? So make sure you stir it. All right. I got a paper towel over here. Just pat that up. I'll put that on there. All right. So what I'm going to do is <clears throat> lay this out. Oh, and look here. This is kind of neat. Just a piece of cardboard. Makes a nice palette. I've already painted his feet. Can you see that? Along with his toenails. Now, maybe you might see a little silver in places. So, after I get it all put together, I go in and touch that up. Because, uh, you know, handling it can, you can scratch it. Okay, so that's the foot. You know, it says on here, I can't even see it really. This is the right one. They say right foot. So, and then this is the left one. Now, hmm. So, let's see. Left and right. Why? How would you ever know, really? Seems like maybe those end ones are a little longer. So, I don't know. People who really know birds might say, you have two left feet or you have them the wrong way. <laughs> so, that's why they're marked, I guess. All right. Now, I have a piece of, uh, eh, absorbing these are those vanity everyday napkins you know they used to be really good but then now they tear off so who knows what's going on all right so i'm just gonna put this on top of here right You have to get it very saturated. Of course, I'm just eyeballing how long to make that because I can always cut it off. Right? And fold these over. This makes the, the um, feather very stiff so it doesn't sag. I try to leave which we'll call it uh, wool <clears throat> at the top, and then you can poke that into the body. But you can also poke into the feather after the fact. Now living down here in Florida, what I'll do is I'll put these out in the sun and they'll dry lickety split. So basically I'm getting the basic shape of the feather. Now. He kind of has a blunt end tail. And but I can always cut that anyway. Better to have too much than too little. So I'm going to blot this just a little bit. And see how it pulls up. Don't worry about that. Just take your spoon and smooth it back out. Get the extra off. You 
You can use uh, toilet paper too. Just pounce it lightly. All right. So now I'm gonna try this one. So let's say that would be the bottom. You're gonna stack them, you know, kind of like working on a roof. You do the bottom, then the next one, then the next one. Oh, now, see, I got uh, glue on me, my fingers. So, I think I need more than that. Don't do it. See the difference in the fiber? Short, long. And I'll mix these. I'm gonna put that next to it. Kinda of messy. and water. I'm going to leave more at the top this time for tucking them in. And fold that back up. Let's see. Sure, why not? Look at that. Very nice. Seeing how I'm shaping this. Now, I don't know. Sometimes I graduate the feathers. Longest bottom, a little shorter on top of that, a little shorter on top of that. And you get like a layer effect. Now the difference between doing it this way and using a piece of felt, hmm, is the thickness. So this makes it nice and thin, like a feather. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that at the top for tucking it into the bird. All right, I'm gonna pounce this stuff off. 